Hello everyone, this is Jig and welcome to another Pez dispensing video. Uh, if you weren't sick of Pez dispensers, you will be after this video. Uh, I've learned a lot uh, over the last little while and I thought I had come up with a solution that was amazing. Uh, turns out it's not so amazing, so we're going to learn a little bit about uh, all the different varieties together. One thing to note, at the moment I'm on a uh, single player and the height of the Pez dispenser does matter. So we've got an orientation like this. Bounces off the first one, does not bounce off the second one. Turns out when uh, the cart is three deep high or uh, something like that, then it won't uh, it won't bounce off, which sucks. It turns out my one way over in the corner, um, way over there, I don't remember how high it was, but uh, I think six, uh, so probably a multiple of, of three, whoops, ah, come on, multiple of three, it uh, won't bounce off, which sucks for overflow protection. All the other sizes, it does. So, that's cool. I also learned that orientations like this and orientations the opposite work exactly the same way. Uh, over here, however, orientation like this one, uh, which way are the clouds are going? I think the clouds go north. I should probably check that out. Uh, yes, the clouds move north, so these are east-west and these are north-south. So north-south uh, only has problems bouncing off certain kinds, uh, certain heights, probably when it's level with the top block and the other ones work. Uh, these other ones, however, uh, east-south, uh, east-west, sorry, they uh, freeze a cart on the top regardless of height, which sucks. every height. doesn't matter if it's level like this one or uh, if you know there's lots of overhang like that one there they freeze and they're all the same so that kinda sucks so what I went to invent was uh, this new style Pez that has a side block on the top uh, which allows you to pop them into the stack and I thought, yeah, I'm amazing. Look at this amazing invention. They always, they always uh, freeze on the top like that. However, some people are reporting that uh, they have issues with carts merging. Uh, it's probably a height thing. I haven't been able to duplicate it yet. Uh, I've done it in all orientations, as you can see here, and they all work the same way. I also saw a video of pear, squir uh, pear squirrels. Uh, his design is to have a block like that on top and when you press it uh, boosts it out there it kind of works the same principle once you're uh, lower than the top one uh, it'll boost one off like like the the pez that I've made over there um, but it's a lot simpler and it looks you know it looks really good uh, some people may have issues with the fact that the carts are glitching through uh, a block to get up there but it works great uh, in also all orientations because uh, as we've learnt the ones the opposite would work and here I've set it up the same here cool but what happens in multiplayer uh, we're going to check that out right now uh, so we'll go seven queer and we'll just go into multiplayer now I'm running the server on my own computer so it is going to be of course it's <laughs> night time uh, it is going to be fairly lag free and if you get into this and mess up my stuff, I'm going to be so mad at you, little chicken. Okay, let me quickly go to sleep. Okay, I'm going to skip this part for you guys. Okay, now there's daylight. Uh, let's have a look over here. Now the one thing to note in multiplayer, the carts stack uh, pretty crazily. It's always been like that. I don't know why uh, they just seem to do that. It's weird at the best of times. But, you know, they do stack mostly if they don't uh, get stuck. 
It's probably just because the way I loaded it. Uh, let's see. There we go, now we're back in action. Wow, these carts go slow. Damn multiplayer. Okay. So we have the same thing as last time where uh in the where's the clouds going? Away. In the north south orientation they uh they get stuck. But one thing I started to notice is they start bouncing off randomly. And this is Parasquirrel's uh overflow protection design, which is great, but I'm gonna show you a flaw with it. Uh, and I'm really, un <laughs> I'm upset that I found it because uh, it's a pretty big flaw. For whatever reason, in multiplayer, everything seems to be going fine as normal. But then randomly, at points, well, you probably just saw it then actually, randomly, uh, depending on the height, and I have found it is the height, depending on the height uh, in multiplayer, the carts will just fall off. They'll just fall off. So let me get one of these here. Uh, and now it's the second one here. See the one with the dirt on it? That's the one that caused us all those problems uh, before. See the first one fell off? last one fell off and they all just randomly fall off uh... and now this one here has actually glitched two of them together <sighs> yeah that's a bummer uh... and that happens in all orientations too on multiplayer uh... i have one over here uh... where i tested it and it did the same thing actually no this one it went even worse let's uh... i'll show you this one this one's odd Here we go. This one, like, <laughs> I mean, it's weird enough that the uh, the carts do that, but watch this. Randomly, uh, I guess when like a chunk does an update or something, it will. Come on, see. It just pushes it in. It's like, okay, I've given up trying, and I'm just going to stack it in. So we'll do it again on a different height. And see, it wasn't uh, just an isolated incident. This one's the, the three high. Come on. I'm watching and it just eventually it will just fall right in and that sucks because this is a really easy design um, way less complicated to implement than this one but unfortunately uh, here is mine and again I haven't been able to duplicate uh, some people have been having issues with it but it hasn't happened for me yet uh, I've got one facing all different ways and for some reason whatever reason I don't know um, different heights too the three seems to be different to all the rest um, and yeah it, it works in multiplayer but again some people are having issues I just haven't been able to well see that one almost did but maybe it's a lag thing because I am uh, using it on the local computer. Maybe if it's just lagging a lot, it'll uh, get pushed on. Either way, it looks like there is no 100% uh, no reliable overflow protection yet, uh, which is really sad um, because that's one of the main things that we need in a PEZ dispenser is something that can tell you when it's overflowed. And unfortunately, no one's created one that works for all situations yet. Um,
Yep. Thanks for watching, and I uh, hope you learned something about Pez dispensers because I'm sick and tired of them. Oh, good, it's getting night time, and let the night uh, fall on Pez dispensers. And hopefully, this is the last Pez dispenser video I make for quite a while. Thanks for watching. Bye.